So this morning I made pumpkin banana chocolate chip muffins and I'm gonna be doing a delivery later for my family. But this is what I did in place of brunch today and I will leave the recipe down below for you. So I wanted to share with you guys a few of the items that came from the witchy woman party from last Sunday, or excuse me, last Saturday, that was on last week's vlog. But um, it was so much fun, just a bunch of great women gathered together. And we did pull some affirmation cards at the party. And I didn't even realize, but this has a lion on the back and I'm a Leo. I just thought that, I thought that was interesting. But this card definitely spoke to me once I read it and more towards my business mind and like my, what I've been dealing with, but lots of truth in this card for me. So that was, may let us keep our affirmation card. And then I purchased some things from the Happy Cosmos, this really cute boutique. Um, they do East Marks, um, what's it called? Farmer's Market. So if you live close by here in Mesa, then you can shop there or here's their website. Really, really sweet ladies. So I ended up purchasing a shirt and one of their stovetop scents. Oh my gosh, pumpkin patch stovetop. And really reasonably priced. They smell so good, you guys. So I'm gonna put this all into the stovetop and it smells the entire house for hours. I'm gonna wait probably um, till it starts cooling down here to make the whole house smell incredible and I'm gonna use that soon. And then this shirt spoke to me so much because I always sing the witchy woman song all the time, even when it's not October. Um, I'll say something about being witchy and then sing that song all the time. So when I saw them wearing these shirts, I'm like, okay, it's meant to be, I've gotta get one of these. So love it, really nice soft material. And Kiana also gave us the, and her mom gave us these um, stones, one to give away and one to keep for ourselves. And then some salts to put in the moonlight tonight when it's the full moon and then use. So and we talked all about the moon cycle and all the benefits of the moonlight and all that good stuff. It was such a fun little party. Got some Chipotle for Liner. I'm calling it Liner because we're kind of in between lunch and dinner right now. Got burrito bowls. I actually did steak. Usually I just do veggie, but I did steak today. I get lettuce and cheese, the mild salsa, light sour cream, black beans. And today I got steak and brown rice and... um side of walk. Chris got something similar too. All right, we're going to grab on this. So I'm just mapping out my day here right now and doing some planning for the week. And as you can see, we're going to Disney in California this week. And I'm so excited. We have really been um, anticipating this trip. So it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to share with you guys. But right now I've got clearly a long list of things to do. So gonna take care of that start. So I'm about to set up my new lean photo printer, L-I-E-N-E, -E, Amber Series Instant Photo Printer. They did send me this for review purposes and I can't wait to try it out because I don't know about you guys, but I love taking tons of photos on my phone. Love it. But as a kid, I used to love having photo albums and going through the photos and I know we can do that on our phones, but sometimes it's nice to have a few printed out to put around your house and frames or just to have in photo albums again. So I wanted to print a couple of my photos and this is going to make it super simple and easy. So I'm gonna unbox this and show you what comes inside. So this is the Lean M100 Instant Photo Printer. Of course, comes with a manual, comes with a few um, photo printer paper to use for your photos, already comes with a few. Your ink cartridge. Obviously the plug to plug it in and the cute little photo printer. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. Hold on, let me get it out. It's so nice and packaged. So I just printed two photos in under a minute, you guys. So fast and look at how crisp the coloring is. Look at those reds. And Holly's a little bit cut off in this picture and that's my fault because you can kind of adjust and edit um, where the borders are and I didn't do that this first round. Um, but then I realized that and did this one and it's perfect. Super crisp, very nice colors and how it prints is so different and cool. I will show you a clip right now. 
of how it um, prints out your photos. But like I said, it's super quick and I'm really impressed. Now I have pictures for my frames that I've been missing and I can switch out my pictures anytime I want. I'm so excited about this. So let me share a clip right now about how the printer actually works. So as you can see, it prints so super quick. I can't believe this small little printer can do so much like that. My family's gonna love this. Sometimes you just want a printed picture. A picture sometimes is worth so much to us more than just having it digitally on our phone. And I really love having pictures in frames and around the house, like I said. So definitely gonna get lots of use out of this printer. I will leave it linked down below. What a great gift idea too, I know. I know it's a little early to think about, but for me, it's never too early. And I think this is a really good idea for someone that loves taking photos and wants to share the, her, their memories around their house too. All right, I'll leave everything linked below for you. First costume of the season. Can you guys guess before I tell you? It's very sexy. So right here in an annotation, just so you can get a chance to guess. But I will have this up on Instagram. I'm doing a bunch of fun costumes for Fashion Nova this year. Okay, Mama B, what do you find? How cute. We're at Walmart looking at the Christmas stuff they put out already. Look how cute these little gift card holders are. Put a bottle in. Oh yeah, that's really nice for a hostess gift. Yeah, this one looks like a Starbucks mug. And you put a gift card in. Wouldn't that be cute to put a little coffee gift card in? You can hang it on the tree, hang it on a present. So cute. I see if you, I could totally do a DIY easily with, for that. But here are all the different styles and they're $2.98. And I got some of these last year for the guys to put gift cards in. They look like little beer cans. Look how cute this little advent calendar. They have 24 little box boxes that look like little houses. Isn't that cute? You guys, they have these jumbo um, little gingerbread houses. Look, it looks like there's a little gumdrop. They're $3.98. But I'm gonna, you know, I have like a gingerbread theme in my kitchen, so I'm gonna get a couple of these. But they all also have smaller ones that are only 98 cents. Look how cute these little guys are. We also had a pretzel and a cupcake. So if you do a tree like me in your kitchen, these are so perfect. Um, they also have an ice cream cone, a little sundae, and a donut. They're all 98 cents. They have a ton of other kind of ornaments for 98 cents too, so you don't have to break the bank in some new decor this year. So tonight I'm making a HelloFresh meal. It's the sheet pan Monterey Jack unfried chicken. So already prep was starting kind of the prep. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven for five minutes first on the top rack, and then I'm gonna coat the chicken right now with this panko mix. There's a few extra carrots here for the doggies. <laughs> they love carrots. But anyways, here's the entire recipe. Um, but I'll show you what it looks like after. Look whose birthday it is today, my baby. She's two years old today. Good girl. We got special treats this morning too, honey, right? You should two years old. Good morning, it's Tuesday. Um, one more day until vacation. We're leaving for California tomorrow. I still need to pack. And it's Holly's birthday today. So of course I'm gonna do something special for her tonight for her um, dinner. And also going to my brother's really quick to help Haley with something real quick before we're out of here because she's having a party this weekend, I think, for, for something Halloween related. I'm pretty sure. So she is learning to put eyelashes on with me. So we're going to be doing that later. Um, but yeah, I just need to get through this work day and hopefully it doesn't go by super slow. So it's been a rainy day today and I have my cozy sweatshirt on from Trisha creep it real it's so cozy you guys are gonna be seeing me wear this a ton once it starts to cool down here more um fresh face right now i just actually got back from vacation but the disney portion of this vlog is going to be separate because i know some of you love disney some of you are like eh, 
don't really want to see it. <laughs> so it's going to be a separate vlog and I will still be editing it this weekend. So then you'll see it at some point next week, probably either Monday or Wednesday. I'm not sure which yet. Um, but since the vlog was like a little short, yes, I have a Diet Coke back here from our six hour car drive. Um, since the vlog was like a little short, I just finished editing 10 minutes of footage prior from like the footage prior to us leaving. And yes, I'm editing it the same day that we got back, <laughs> but I got this stuff in the mail from the Sephora friends and family sale. Did any of you guys um, take advantage of the 20% off friends and family code? So if you have um, someone that works at Sephora that you know, or you just happen to come across the code, then you could get 20% online with and in store with Sephora. And I usually take advantage of that for tried and trues that I already know I love, but also products that maybe I want to try out that are new. And at the holiday time, usually like to try out a holiday set or two. But you guys, even though there was a lot of cute, new, fun makeup, and I'm not saying that there's not a bunch that I would buy and like spend $600 on, <laughs> I would. But I wanted to really stick to things that I knew I was going to really love and use. And I don't know if that's me maturing or what, but <laughs> I'm just not wanting to buy all the latest and greatest so even though i might not be doing all like every single kit that comes out and all that anymore i still love makeup <clears throat> excuse me i still love makeup and i still love reviewing and sharing things that i find and love in makeup so these are a few items that i picked up not too crazy as you can see so first two things you're not going to be surprised they're from Hourglass Cosmetics. I love Hourglass Cosmetics. I think they are one of the top notch people in the industry, like makeup in the industry. And I just continue to repurchase their products. They're beautiful. And they look good on mature skin, young skin, like pretty much every skin. So that's why I love them. So the ambient powders in Diffused Light, you guessed it. I haven't had this in my repertoire of makeup for a hot second. I've been using something else. I've been using multiple things up. Actually, I'm proud of myself, like different brightening under eye setting powders, but I still had to repurchase this because when I want to look my very best in whether it be like holiday photos coming up, um, or I'm just doing photos for my Instagram, or filming different specific content, especially when I'm doing sponsored content. I want to look my best, you know, and this makes me look my best under my eyes. Um, it really brightens and takes away any discoloration. For those of you who have not seen it, it's kind of a yellow based highlighting. It gives a, it does highlight a little bit, but there's no glitter to it. I can't explain it. It's just a really beautiful, soft focusing powder. You can use it for everywhere. You don't want to use too much though, because since it does have a glow, if you do have any fine lines, don't go too crazy with it. It's just, you know, a little bit that I use to set underneath. Very minimal. Okay. Hi baby. If you could see her, she just brought me this toy. She just this poor dinosaur. This was part of her bark box like two boxes ago from the Jurassic Park one. Do you remember? Yeah, she loves him. Ready? Well, let's also just get this straight out of the way. Shiseido cotton. I have been purchasing like the Walmart and dupes. I just wanted my tried and true back and I'm so happy to have it. It's the softest cotton. It feels so nice on my eyes. I don't feel like it. It's just so gentle. Um, and I feel like they last for a pretty long time. Okay, the other Hourglass product I purchased was one of their ambient lighting pal um, palettes. New for holiday, it is limited edition. They came out with three palettes. So I got the middle palette. Um, I was torn between this one and the butterfly one. You can actually decide which of the um, faces you want on your palette if you go to the Hourglass website. But since I wanted to get the 20% off, I ordered mine off of Sephora, um, but I'll link both um, sites for you guys because maybe one has it sold out one doesn't I don't know um, but I really am happy with Hourglass because they did a great range of shades now so that more skin tones can um, work with these powders and love and appreciate these powders because sometimes they were just a little too light the, in the palettes in the past and of, of course I, I was very happy because I they worked on me but I totally understand other people not being too happy about it because they couldn't wear them and they're beautiful powders everyone wants to <laughs> so anyways there's three different options now 
So hopefully everyone can find their perfect palette. But this one spoke to me the most. Um, I love, I love the packaging too. I love that it's pink with the elephant. It's really nice metal packaging. It says all the colors on the back here. Um, it looks like there's a, a good mix of their lighting, like what's it called? Finishing powders, metallic strobe powders, blushes, and bronzer. So two blushes, a bronzer, a strobe powder, which is kind of like their highlight version, like a really nice strong highlight. And then their two finishing powders, one being dim light, um, which is one of my favorites as well, other than diffused light. So has a really nice big mirror. And then here are the shades. You can see they all have like a really nice kind of glow to them super beautiful so i'm not going to swatch these right now but i have seen beautiful swatches online already of this so i know that it is beautiful i've seen some reviews too so i will maybe do a, a review if you would like i've done um past hourglass palette reviews before and look at this palette hold on i actually i i use my hourglass palettes from past years um all the time look at this one I just brought this back from vacation. This bronzer is almost hitting pan. That one is diffuse light, so of course it hit pan pretty quickly. But I love this palette and I've used it um, a couple times on vacations now. And it's one of my favorites. This was the Lighting Edit Volume 3 palette. but And then the very last thing that I picked up was a splurge. And you guys, I like to do advent calendars on my Vlogmas videos. And if you don't know what Vlogmas is, hold up. Wait a minute. We got to pause for a second. Am I doing Vlogmas this year? You bet your butt I'm doing Vlogmas this year. But Melissa, you're going on a cruise the first week of December. <laughs> How the hell are you going to do Vlogmas? Good question, amazing people. I don't know. Um, I, what I think I'm going to do, because I don't think that we're going to have any Wi-Fi on the, on the boat enough for me to download, you know, videos. So I think for the first five days of Vlogmas, I'll be doing like Christmas recipes with you guys, DIYs, things like that, like really fun and exciting things to start off Vlogmas with a bang. Um, or I may pre-film a couple days ahead before I leave. So they're all Christmassy content because you guys know I start November 1st. What are we even thinking? There's going to be Christmassy content on here starting pretty close to the beginning of November. I'll try to condense it as much as I can, but it's going to be an explosion in my house because I decorate so much. I need the whole month to decorate before, especially before we leave for the cruise. So anyway, I digress. <sighs> Sephora haul, Melissa. Get to the point. Advent calendar. I wanted to do a special one this year and I only want to do one. I see these girls... God bless, I'm not trying to say anything bad, but I see some of these women doing like seven high-end, 200 plus dollar advent calendars on their Vlogmas. And maybe they get sent them and I'm not hating if they, if whatever, but I can't invest that much in, in advent calendars and I'm not getting sent those right now. So my thing was, I always do a chocolate advent calendar, just like a cute one, but I wanted to do a beauty advent calendar. And this Charlotte Tilbury one caught my eye. I thought that the value was there because I'm actually going to use the products that are inside of this because I love all of her stuff. And some of the items in the advent calendar I have not tried from her and I've been thinking about purchasing, but haven't really like pulled the plug you know what I mean or whatever it's called and so yeah this is like 200 bucks it's like a steep advent calendar so I'm not saying you need it but I did do my research and I looked at a lot of different advent calendars and I personally feel that this is one of the best this year so okay let me open her up with you this is the first time talk about luxury though look at the the box has like a do you see that kind of iridescence so pretty and it says Charlotte Tilbury on the sides. It's called Diamond Chest of Beauty Stars. Explore Charlotte's world of makeup magic and glowing skincare icons. That's the other thing. It's not just makeup. It's skincare and makeup. And I love her skincare. I sound like, sometimes I sound like a walking advertisement for things, but it's not on purpose. It's just because I'm excited about it. Truly, you guys, <laughs> truly. <laughs> Okay, is that not stunning? Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. It's even, I could totally reuse this, right? Tell me I'm right. Tell me it's okay that I spent that much on this, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> so I obviously can't open this up yet because I'm gonna, do you see Holly? Do you see Holly? 
<laughs> my baby she said mom you came home and only played for 30 minutes and that's clearly not enough time because you've been gone for three days she's right i'm gonna go play with her right now after i finish this with you guys but seriously i can reuse this i think even and i want to show you what's inside but then oh they're individually wrapped <gasps> This is gonna be so special for Vlogmas, you guys. Who else is excited? Comment down below if you're excited to see what's in this. I'm gonna leave you here because I need to finish editing this. Finish this vlog for you guys. I'm gonna go play with Holly too. And I will see you later in the week for the Disney vlog.